Commonwealth Sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie, she sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. file flew open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about a facial reconstructive surgery? Yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. Now, go over your symptoms for me. One at a time. I'm pretty beat up. Uh, I've seen worse. Better stitch you up before infection sets in. That's that. Anything else bothering you? Feeling sick. I think it's radiation. We'll clean you up. Don't worry. And that's that. Anything else bothering you? No. We're done. Take better care of yourself in the future, okay?
swatter? Who needs a swatter? You there! You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory protection so for sale! Thirsty. And pool pieces! Liquor no more. Need a new Coca-Cola! Stop in safe. No since the last out of the surplus. I think that article is telling the truth. You know, about the mayor. Ah, the mayor's okay in my book. He's kept the ghouls out, hasn't he? Yeah, but if he's a... You know, that means he's working for... Shh! Do you want him to hear you? Diamond City Surplus. Everything you need. Need some custom hardware? We got a free workbench for all your modifications. Scopes, clip sizes. Barrels. Maybe living here is not worth it. The paper's telling the truth. Do you know what you're going to tell Take the way it's possible with all those madmen out there? The hub of trade for all Diamond City right here. Small arms, long arms, ammunition. Nuka Cola. Hey, Sheffield. Need a drink. Nuka Cola. Mo? Here to pick up a swatter. Right? You buy and sell everything. Nothing to see here. No sense allowed here. Thirsty. Ellie, are you here? Nick? Really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus, a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much, but I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. I'm not sure what the backup means, though. What else can you tell me? We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. They waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. 
Anything else you'd remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities in full strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. I'm a synth myself. Discarded prototype, anyway. Either way, I need to find Sean. Right. Your speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? No. They never said their names. Mm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two? should still be careful. I always am. Hey, Valentine. Come on. Kellogg's house ain't far.
about that settlement? Covenant? Nick, Kellogg's house is this way. 